Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you four ways to fix your portrait photo or video in Wondershare Filmora 10. Uh, recently, I got a question from my stupid channel. Uh, he want to, to make the video go blur and put the image in front of it so it would, uh, would make the audience pay attention to that. And I think his question is very interesting. So uh, that's why I decided to make this tutorial for you. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm inside Filmora 10. And this is my example timeline, by the way. I can delete everything first. Uh, okay, so I will keep only the, the image, a portrait image. Uh, actually, you can do the same with video too. Uh, so you when, when you're shooting uh, an image, a portrait image, and put it in your video, you will have the black bar on, on the right side and on the left side uh, of the video. Okay, so the, the first solution and the easiest way is to add a blurry background uh, to the image in Filmora 10. So you can go to the Effect tab here, and then uh, go to the Filter tab. Okay, so add the filter. You have some background blur, so you can uh, click here. We have 15 different back background blur you can add to your image uh, right in this folder. And being mentioned that if, if they are online, you can uh, double click to download the effect to your, to your computer, okay? Uh, for example, if I want to add a mosaic, uh, this effect, for example, uh, I can just drag and drop it. So remember to put the effect on top of your video or image uh, to create this, uh, this effect. Uh, let's play this one so you see we have an image uh, in the middle and the blurry background here and actually you can adjust this blurry background by double click at the effect here uh, on the timeline and then you can adjust the sort okay adjust uh, with this slider and you can also change the background color also with some color here for example i, I can uh, change it to purple and background luminance i can increase to make make the the back background a little bit brighter and block size increase or reduce the block size also and reduce or increase the alpha channel here so that is very interesting right so this is the first and the easiest way to fix your portrait image and let's go to the second way okay for example, if you want, don't want to add uh, all this kind of back, background blur to your, your image, you can duplicate it. Let's copy it and then paste it here. And then we are going to put it on another track here. And then we need to hide it and also lock this one. Now we need to scale this up, okay, to cover the entire screen. To do that, we can double click at the image and then go to the the transform tab here and then increase the scale so this this one and you can click here at the preview window to adjust to the position that, that you want okay and we still need to add a blurry blurry effect to this image also but we now uh, we will not use all the the blurry background here we're going to uh, select the effect and then go to the recommended and then search for the square blur okay and press enter and here you have the square blur and now you need to add it between the 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 image on the timeline so put it at the track uh, in between the top and the bottom track and now you can also double click at the the, the square blur effect to adjust uh, some parameter here for example, you can increase the size to make it a little bit more blur, okay? And then you can click OK, and now you can unhide the image here. Okay, and this is a second way you can fix your portrait photo by adding a background and then a blur effect and then put your image uh, on top. Uh, with, this, uh, with this solution, you can also replace this one uh, with another image. Uh, for example, here, I have in my media, I have a picture here, a nature picture. I downloaded from Pizza Bay. I can uh, delete this one and then I can put it uh, at the bottom. Uh, so you have an image here and a blur effect and then uh, your image on top. Okay, so this is a second solution. 
And the third solution to fix your portrait photo is to crop to the uh, to the size uh, of the video. Okay, for example, I want to unlock this one and I'm going to move this uh, image to here. Now I have a portrait photo and I want to crop to the size of the video. Uh, what I'm going to do is to select it on the timeline and then select crop. And now we can change the ratio to 16 by 9 because uh, we are going to edit to a 16 by 9 uh, video, right? And we're going to select that. And now you have this square box. Uh, you can adjust to the place that you want to, uh, to crop, okay? And we can adjust it here like this. So being mentioned that when you uh, use this solution, you will uh, lose all the image here from here and here. Uh, it is only uh, in inside this box, okay? And then you can click OK to go back to the timeline. Now you have a full screen image like this. Okay, so this is just a crop image and if you want to add some zoom in or zoom out effect, you can do, uh, do the same, uh, go to the crop here and then uh, click on pan and zoom and now you uh, you need to also select the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and now you have the start and the end point here you can adjust them uh, to create a zoom in effect or zoom out effect okay so this is zoom in if you want to to create zoom out effect you can click this button uh, swap the the swap the end and start point okay so i'm going to click ok and now we have the zoom in effect for a portrait be the a portrait image which is it's full screen in 16 by 9 okay okay and this is the third way you can fix your portrait photo or or video also and the last way you can do is to use a split screen i think using a split screen is very interesting too for example uh, we have an image here on the timeline and now we want to uh, put the, a split screen on the timeline to put the, your portrait photo or video side by side okay so we go to the split screen template here and then go to the basic or maybe you can go to the download uh, so i downloaded some uh, sample here so we have this one uh, split screen one two so we have two uh, two video or image uh, in one template and we can just drag and drop this one and now we have this one and we can drag our image to here and video to here or stuff like that okay so this is my example video i can just drag and drop it here and increase the scale a little bit because uh, i cannot i can see some black bar on the right side and the left side and this is the image i can put it at the split screen number two and click here to adjust the size i just scale it up a little bit okay so we have a split screen uh, here and we have this a video an and then we have an image on the right side left side and right side that's easy right and that is four way four way to fix your portrait photo or video using wondershare femora 10. i hope this tutorial is helpful for you especially for my stupid channel if you have any question about this software let me know in the comment section below if you're new here, consider to subscribe for more Femora tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.